Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. I uh just just me knowing you for the for the last shit twenty some years. Uh, I'm always trying to rag on you about the West Side, man. <laughs> always, always. Uh, I always got something to say, <laughs> but but you know it's out of love, and, I, and I got love and, and respect for you and and the West Side. Uh, during my time being incarcerated, I came across uh, you know some West Siders. Uh, one I one I did music with for a while, and uh, another one another one uh, I did a little bit of music with him. Um, he was from the jungles. Uh. Uh, but you know he had he had nothing but love for me, and he dealt with me accordingly, and right. it, it was good. I've been I've been to his home and everything, right. but so my my uh, interactions with brothers that were out the west side have always been positive. Right, always no issues. It's always been even though I think the issue would be when I be get to talk you know, west side. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, uh, nah, we showed out there. You feel me? So like I said, like it's never been like it's never been an issue. It's always like there might be individual issues, right, right, with people. But it's never been like well, we never had beefs with like no, no other West Side hoods like that, right? Except right. for like you know dealing with the you know with the Serrano, That's a different story. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, we got yeah, the famous in our neighborhood, so oh, so I know. Eventually, their their beefs become our beef. You know, they were out there thick too. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. But ooh, yeah. that's another that's thing. Another, that's I'm, another story. I'm probably yeah. gonna uh, get. I, I know some of them. Probably can get one of them on Black August. Yeah. Now shout out, shout out to them. Like, it's no, yeah. no, no disrespect to anyone. You know, what I'm saying I'm, I'm way past them. Yeah. Bank shout out Cadillac and, and, and Malos and all my dudes over there. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get with y'all soon. You gonna be on Black August Studios too? Yeah, they got a story to tell. For sure. Uh, do you think the gardens left any kind of legacy or influence in the on the West for the youngsters that's coming up? After your generation, um, I think I think I'm that legacy. I mean, I'm that example. That's, good. Deep. That's what's like, up. Like, I, I, I'm from the gardens. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna say I am the garden, but I'm from the garden. You know, right. so so everything I do is a reflection of that. You feel me? Man, that's a beautiful answer. Now you know, very introspective, and that's good, man. You, you gotta. We gotta come to a point where we own up and and we say this is what we are. And this is what made me who I am today. Right. Parts of this, parts of this, definitely. You know, um, yeah, you know, I, I definitely don't regret. Um, you know, I've, you know, I've been been to the pen, did my right, time, right. ten and a half years. You know, yeah, that was I my next question. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change none of that though, because without without those experiences, I would not be where I'm at today. I wouldn't be able to be at the table that I'm at today. You know, what I'm saying speaking for people who've been through what I've been through, what we've been through. You know, so you did ten and a half years in the uh, uh, California state prison system. Yes, sir. Uh, what prisons did you visit during that time? Uh, I started off at a level three at um, High Desert uh, State Prison, and then uh, from there got shipped to Old Folsom, and then I ended up at um, High Desert Level Four, 180 yard. Mm. Well, from there, in 2010. So, so as you, you know, my points. I started at three, and my, I went up to a four. So that you know, I was active, was. active was. all the way through. So I remember you was in juvenile hall for a while. Yeah, that's why I started. So I called my case when I was seventeen, uh -huh. and then uh, they tried me as tried me as an adult. That's oh wait, wait, before his case is not no smutty case. <laughs> it's a violent case, uh, but not no smut. I right. just want to put that out there. Right. Go ahead. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I called my case when I was seventeen, and that goes back. Uh, that that's how the uh, my high school ties into it because that's back when they were doing the um, what do they call. It's a hearing where they do what they decide whether they're gonna try you as an adult or not, right, right. right? And so that's when uh, my high school principal came in and testified for the uh, for the DA to determine, like, to show the judge why I should be tried as an adult. You know what I'm saying? Was the high school principal a white man? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> I want to make sure we put that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, so yeah, so so I, I called my kids at 17 um, for for a gang-related homicide, uh -huh. and then um, and they tried me as an adult, and then from when I, once I turned 18. Went to the county and then shot, shot all the way through. Ended up at uh, I did five years. My last five years was at High Desert, uh, 180 yard. Okay. Yeah. Being so young and, and and having to go into the prison system because you were in juvenile hall and they were sitting there trying to determine your fate on getting tried as an adult or not. And you had a your high school principal come over there and smut you up and just 
make you seem like you Al Capone on this <laughs> mother. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest gangster in the land, bro. <laughs> man. Oh, man. I, I, I hate even thinking about no shit like that. So being a young man and, and going up into the prison system, was it, was it overwhelming when you got there? I mean, it, uh, I'm going to say, and this sounds, I don't want, like I said, I don't want to glorify nothing. But right. It really wasn't overwhelming because at that point, uh, I was in the streets. Mm -hmm. I'm a gangbang, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a gangster. So, right. so prison is just the next evolution into this, into the, in, uh, on this, on this, uh, this, this journey, you feel me? So right. I'm not going to say I was looking forward to it, but I always... But you knew that was I, part of what I knew, comes with that life. I knew it was what comes with you, feel me? So, right, right, right. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say, like, when I first got to Quentin, I wasn't like, damn, you know, but. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? You pull up, you pull up to that old castle looking thing. You're like, oh, damn, like, shit about to get real, you know what I'm saying? Right, but, right, uh, right. but, yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely a, a life changing and a life altering experience. Um, but I never let it, uh, I never let it break me. I never let it, uh, I never got, you know, to the point where I was going to fold, you know, never that. Okay, okay. How do you feel about the the whole is San Jose the Bay debate and, and where do you stand on that? Do you think San Jose <laughs> is the Bay Area or I mean you see, you, you, see you see these dreads in my head? <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we get the million dollars. You know what I mean, man? <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> Am I, am I talking good? <laughs> nah, you need to roll your arms a little bit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. Nah, I mean, like I said, it's all about uh, it's all about perception and you know how you feel. Do I do I feel like selling is a part of the bay? Uh, I'm gonna say no. Mm -hmm. It's not part of the bay, right? But uh, it is influenced by the bay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you got if our youngsters want to want to say they're from the bay or part of the bay, you know, do that. If you uh, find one of these street fraternities and you don't think it is, then you do that, you know? Peace, stay off. Great answer. Uh, uh, it made me reflect on the answers that you did earlier in this interview when you said the West Side stood on its own. Mm. And uh, I, had, I had a conversation with some of the homies uh, where I'm from, and we have this conversation. I got a homie, my, my bro, he's, he's a Bay Area dude. We yeah. said, ho, oh, and, and, and I love him. It's all good. Right. We got no issues. Uh, well, none, none of the dudes that say they're bare to do it. I'm just can only speak for my situation on how I view things. Yeah, geographically, right. it's the Bay Area, right. but, but but street wise street and politics, wise, culturally, it's, it's we don't really we don't really twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, one of the conversations I've had with one of the homies is is he said the same thing that you said, pretty much word for word. San Jose has always had to stand on its own. Always, it's always. Ain't been accepted, or, or oh, they doing the LA shit out there. They doing this, and we always did our own thing. And that's anybody that come up out of San Jose from the from the uh, the era that I came in and a little earlier. Man, you had to be about something exactly. to, to be going somewhere and, and saying no for San Jose, straight exactly. up, exactly. straight up, <laughs> and then like put it down. Exactly, because I, I I I'm coming from the standpoint that if you go to another city or the homie go to another city. He got to, like, really make a statement. So yeah. when the other homies come after, yeah. the motherfuckers already know. I'm there for saying, oh, yeah. you know so-and-so? Yeah. 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 Okay, y'all motherfuckers is with Definitely. that. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so try shit. Try, try, well, I mean, I'm sure things have changed now, but shit. Right. Try coming through Quentin back in the day. <laughs> 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 you from San Jose. Not, not, not even from San Jose. Try coming through Quentin you were San Jose Crips. Woo. That's a whole other. <laughs> Man, I, I heard me story. Shout out, shout out Mac Rod. Rest in peace, Mac Rod. Yeah, rest in peace. That's a whole other issue.